What is going on everyone? I got a tech video here to share with all of you on how you can transfer data directly from one iPhone right over to another iPhone wirelessly using data migration. So I already tried this earlier and it works perfect. This device looked exactly like this device, the home screen and all. It even copied over messages. It transferred over my videos and pictures that were currently on this device that I was unable to upload to iCloud because iCloud was full. So this method works very very, very well. It will copy over all your iCloud settings, your wireless settings, and everything. One thing is you need to make sure that you go into your settings, go to general, go to about, click about, and make sure that you are running iOS version 12.4 or newer. The other good thing about this is the two devices do not have to have the same iOS version running. This device here is the iPhone 10s Max, and I have the new unlocked SIM-free version of the iPhone 11 Pro Max, 256 gig right there. So this is a little bit different than doing a backup to iCloud and then trying to do it and all that. However, I do have a link in the description to that video if this fails for you or you have any issues with this particular transfer. So check that link out. I'll also have that link at the end of the video. So the other thing I wanna talk about real quick before we do this is SIM cards because I got lots of questions on that before. So if your old device still has its old SIM card in, hey, that's fine. If your new device got a new SIM card, that's fine too. Power off your device, put in your new SIM card and power it back on so it's at the hello screen. If you're in the situation where you went to a provider and your phone is actually at the home screen, screen on your new phone and you're like, how the heck do I do this? What you need to do on your new phone, if you haven't put anything, you know, like new data on or whatever, uh, is go through on the new phone, go to settings and you want to go in to general and scroll all the way to the bottom where it says reset and click erase all content and settings. Okay. Once you do that on your new phone, that will bring you to this screen. If you guys need to get to this screen, because you do have to be on the screen to, to do this video. So if you're here and you're ready to go. You need to swipe down on your device. Make sure you have Bluetooth turned on because this is going to use Bluetooth to copy over from one device to the other. So the next thing you need to do is go ahead, swipe up on your new one, go to English, click United States or from whatever country you're from. Now what you should see over here is a pop-up. You want to make sure the devices are next to each other. And if you get here and you don't see a pop-up, simply either reboot this phone or close out of it. You know, you want to open it back up. What you're looking for is this pop-up right here. Sometimes it's kind of tricky to get that. So here we are, and all we need to do from here is click continue. Now when this happens, you just wanna take your new phone and go over that thingy on the phone and it should capture that. Now, if you guys are also in a position where you cannot use your camera, you're gonna have to choose the set up manually option that was on the previous screen here. So I'm just gonna put in my kind of default passcode there. Depending on how much data you guys are moving over, it could actually take a little while. So this kind of stuff that pops up, I pretty much tell it that I'll set up later. So here's the screen you wanna get to. It says transfer your data. We wanna choose the one that says transfer from iPhone, not the one that says download from iCloud. So choose transfer from iPhone. And what it's doing is just pulling everything, you know, your information, your settings, your Wi-Fi settings, and moving everything over. There's also a lot of times questions about apps, if it saves data within apps. A lot of times this will save data within apps. If you use an app and you use a username and password to log into that app, it should actually, all your data should still be in that account or in that app. So if it asks you to sign in, you're gonna have to enter in your Apple ID password. So you should come to terms and conditions, then you click agree. Now I'm going to go ahead and enable location services. And I'm actually going to skip and do that later. And I'm going to set that up later. And I'm not going to share that right now. And then I'm just going to click continue. You can choose what you want there. Here we are at the transferring screen. Now for some of you, this may take a while, but this is actually transferring as if we have a cable connected, but it's doing it wirelessly. So if you have any issues doing this wirelessly, you can always go all the way back to the beginning. You know, you're going to have to connect a cable if, if some of you are in different situations. But for a lot of us, this is going to work very nicely. And for some of you, this could actually take quite a while. So once this is complete, just go ahead and click continue. Now, the cool thing about this is, is once this boots back up, it's going to look identical to this one. So while you're waiting here, times are going to vary, you know, based upon how much data you guys are actually transferring. So it could take a little while, which is completely normal. Just give it time and don't power any device off. And if you're 
you're able to plug your devices in, have them plugged into the wall, you wanna make sure you know that everything's fully powered. So once your device gets to this screen, if you have a passcode, you're gonna have to swipe up and go in on your new device using the passcode from your old device. And there you go, it is identical. If you go into your messages, all your messages should be there. If you go into your, like you wanna look for, in here you wanna look for all your photos and videos. And once you get through this little pop-up stuff, let me go to albums. All of your stuff should be in here, like your photos and videos that were currently on this device. This works so cool because you don't have to mess with iCloud. And if you go into your settings on your new device and you go in here, you can see you should be logged into your iCloud. So what that means is it will start syncing up to iCloud and these are kind of grayed out and that's because they're downloading, you know, actually from iCloud or they're downloading, you know, new versions of the apps, uh, reinstalling everything. So that's perfectly fine. That's what you want. So we just transferred everything over like it's, you know, perfectly like this works great. I absolutely love this. And this is running iOS 13. This is running 12.4. It even transferred over the wireless settings because that's already set up and gone. So now if you go over and and check your old device, you can see it still left a copy of everything on there. So it did not delete anything from this. It simply copied and transferred and left this the way it was. So if you want to go in and delete everything from here, go into your old phone, go into your iCloud settings, and you wanna go down here where it says sign out. You wanna sign out of your iCloud settings. Then you go in and you go into your, uh, back up here, go into general. Then what you wanna do is go down and reset the phone. That will erase this thing, get rid of everything, and it does not delete anything from this phone or your iCloud then. So I hope I covered as much as I could. I know I talked a lot in this video, but if this helped you guys out, please hit that like button and share it. And if there's any comments and you want to see other videos before you do this or how to do something else, drop them down in the comments section and I'll have a link to the other video if you had any issues with this video showing you how to transfer everything. And you, But you'll have to do it through iCloud. Anyway, this is an awesome way to do this. Thank you all for watching and I will see you all in the next video.